ladies and gentlemen, Dow Jones dropped 800 points on Wall Street and lost 3% of its value. And, you know, there's a lot of buzz going around about an upcoming recession, especially if Trump continues on with this trade war. You know, that is going to really be a stain on Trump that I don't know if he's going to be able to overcome if he pushes this country into a recession. So stocks plunge Wednesday on deepening worries over a shutdown in the global economy. The Dow closed down 800 points or about 3%. Investors have been whipsawed in recent days by mixed signals emerging from the Trump administration about tariffs and the escalating trade war with China. The jitters were exacerbated amid worrisome economic data from two big countries. Germany posted negative growth in its latest quarter and China industrial output fell to a 17-year low. Yes. So when this next recession hit, y'all, this is going to be global. This is a global recession. And they are still saying a recession, if it hits now, is going to be unlike anyone that you have seen before in the past. This one is going to be bad. An even bigger worry, the yield on the benchmark 10-year treasury note fell below two years. Treasuries for the first time since 2007. In other words, you would get a higher interest rate for government debt that matures in two years than in 10 years. Such an inversion in yields has a strong track record of predicting a recession, especially the longer it continues. Each of the last seven recessions dating to 1969 was preceded by a 10-year falling below the two-year. Ladies and gentlemen, there is some audio that I want you to hear. Let's see here. Today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled, falling 800 points, losing 3% of its value. The sell-off followed fresh signs that major economies around the world are beginning to falter. I'm joined now by NPR senior business editor, Uri Berliner, who's going to make sense of all of this for us. Right, Uri? Of course. <laughs> all right, so just walk us through what happened today. So the sell-off was deep and very broad. All the major stock market indexes fell sharply, the Dow, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq. Trade, once again, seemed to be a big factor. Just yesterday, markets rallied, and there was an upbeat mood on Wall Street. Huh. That was after the Trump administration announced it was going to delay tariffs on a wide range of Chinese imports, and it was seen as a breather from the trade war. But today, suddenly, there was a complete reversal of the mood. It got pretty dark. So why did things turn around so abruptly? So, you know, as you noted, there's increasing evidence of economic weakness around the world. Just today, we learned Germany's economy shrank in the latest quarter. That's Europe's most important economy. Germany relies heavily on trade and exports for its prosperity. Trade tensions are affecting Germany's important car industry. And over in China, there's new evidence that its economy too is slowing. Growth in the U.S. is also starting to weaken. In the second quarter, the economy grew just 2.1 percent. That's down from earlier in the year. So you have the big three, U.S., China, and Europe, all slowing down at the same time. That's not a happy combination for the stock market. And then on top of all this, I understand there was an ominous signal coming from the bond market as well. 
That's right. Okay. Uh, the interest rate on ten year on the ten year Treasury note briefly fell below the yield on the two year rate. That's unusual, and it's the first time that's happened since two thousand seven. This is called an inverted yield curve, and if it persists, it's often seen as a bad sign for the economy. Uh, an extended inversion between these two interest rates has preceded the past seven recessions. Now, most economists don't believe the U.S. is headed for a recession soon, but good. this is <laughs> good. Good, yeah. But this inverted yield curve ramped up the anxiety on Wall Street today. I spoke to Joe Bruzuelas. He's the chief economist at the consulting firm RSM. And he says a lot rides on the U.S. and China quickly dialing back these disputes over trade. Essentially, if the trade wars not roll back in the near term, I think we're going to have a very difficult 2020. Okay, that sounds really unsettling. I guess the question I have after all of this is what do ordinary people like you and me have to worry about going forward? Well, so for now, the U.S. economy is doing pretty well. Uh, the unemployment rate remains really low. Wage growth is decent, very little inflation. But if you're in the markets, if you're an investor for the long term, a one-day drop in the market like this shouldn't really scare you, shouldn't okay. freak you out. But if you're just about to retire and you're looking at your 401k, these days, understandably, can be really stomach-churning. Okay, well, that's NPR's senior business editor, Uri Berliner. Thank you, Uri. You're welcome. All right, you heard that, right? So there are fears over Trump's trade war with China kicking the country, and not only the country, but the entire globe into a recession. And it really is headed that way, y'all. We shall see. A lot of people are saying if Trump's trade war takes us into a recession, he has no way of winning the next presidential election. A lot of people will be angry about that. So on Tuesday, the Trump administration said it was postponing some of its new tariffs on Chinese imports. The Office of the U.S. Trade Representatives announced that 10% tariffs on certain popular consumer items, including cell phones, laptop computers, video game consoles, computer monitors, and some toys, shoes, and clothing, will be postponed until December 15th. What we've done is we've delayed it so that they won't be relevant to the Christmas shopping season. Okay, so it was about money. President Trump told reporters the delays affect about $160 billion worth of imports, according to calculations by the advocacy group Tariffs Hurt the Heartland. Tariffs on an additional $112 billion worth of Chinese imports are still set to take effect on September 1st as scheduled. So, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see. This don't look good. You know, the last time Trump went buck wild in this trade war was last year, and they said it caused a deficit. It did not make the economy better. It actually worsened everything. You know, we lost money. We did not gain money from the trade war like he claimed we were going to gain. You know, he said it was going to be good for America, and it's not turning out to be good for America at all. That's why he is still forking over money to the farmers that have lost damn near all of their revenue because their crops were going to China, especially the soybean, all of the soybean uh, that was grown in America, all of it went to China. And that's not happening anymore. And the farmers, that's why they've been whining so much to Trump because they virtually, many of them lost everything. And you have a lot of them because of all the flooding. They pretty much gave up on having a crop in 2019. So the few that are growing soybeans and corn, they can't move those crops. So, you know, that's why you're hearing a lot about crop insurance and 
Trump giving them money to help get the farmers by, but he can't keep doing that forever. So we shall see in what direction this whole thing goes in. You know, no matter what, in my opinion, it doesn't look good. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.